Okay, we're going to go ahead and connect our side brine tank up. Uh, basically, we're going to connect our hose from the side of the tank here up to the side of the valve here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and attach our brine tank to the. Uh, we're going to attach our brine tank line to the inlet of the valve, and that's basically this little guy right here with a compression fitting. And as you can see, the little compression fitting down there, and we're just going to go ahead and poke our tube through. You can see the little white ferrule there, so it's going to seat up against that. And then basically just thread the bead nut on. And we'll go ahead and snug that up. And we'll go ahead and connect the line to the brine tank side now. We'll go ahead and remove the lid. As you can see, uh, we have provide plenty of lines, so we're just going to go ahead and cut this guy because we're able to place our tank fairly close to everything here. So again, you have a compression fitting, and you don't want to remove this compression fitting. You just basically want to loosen it up and feed the line in, and you can feel it go all the way in. So you're going to want to go in quite a ways. And you can feel it go all the way in and then just hand tighten that nut. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and replace that cap. Okay, we're going to go ahead and connect our drain line up to our air gap. Um, the air gap uses regular PVC cement to go on top of your drain. And then we'll connect the port here to the port on the side of the valve. Okay, and we're just going to connect this up using some hose clamps. And we'll go ahead and connect the other end up to the drain port here on the valve. Okay, we've added uh, five gallons of water to our brine tank. We're now going to pour in one bag of salt. Okay, and that's what it, uh, the salt looks like in the brine tank. I'm going to go ahead and close this up and put the lid on it. Okay, we're going to go ahead and plug the valve in. Uh, basically, we'll go into this outboard slot here, labeled P for power. And then plug it into our 110 volt source. <clears throat> okay, we have our water source all cooked up. Our brine tank has been prepped and ready. Notice we still have the water to the house shut off. We have installed a hose bib here uh, upstream of the house shut off which we recommend you installing. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and bring water into the tank um, and we're going to slowly fill the tank up. We're going to flush out any of the stuff in the system. Uh, the particles that might have been generated during our construction process here and just flush the system out. So the first thing we want to do is basically flush out all these lines where we did it hooked up to the leak check. So we're going to open our hose bib here and you're just going to basically flush through here and you're not going through the cylinder yet just to make sure you flush all particulates out. So let it run for a few minutes, kind of take a look at it, give it a good blast of water. Then we're going to go ahead and shut this off. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put the valve into the backwash cycle. We're going into cycle one backwash. The valve will go into that position and then stop. So now what we want to do 
is we want to slowly open our inlet side of our bypass valve. What we're going to do is we're going to initially fill the tank and we're going to see a lot of air bubbles and whatnot come out your drain line here. So what you want to do is just slowly fill this, let it flow, let the air bubbles kind of keep going. Maybe over a period of uh, five, ten minutes you finally should be wide open and you'll see no more air flood coming out. Once that's done, you want to go ahead and open your outlet valve slowly. And let that run through its cycle. Then we're going to go ahead and advance through the cycles. And we have a video on programming the valve uh, that you should uh, review prior to doing this. So now you're back in your service mode. You'll see the flow stop here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to continue to flush the system. We're going to open our hose bib and just let this whole system run. What you want to do, you want to see th uh, the water coming out here, you want to see it clean. Some cases this happens pretty fast. Other cases uh, it may take up to several days to get truly, truly clean water. Of course, you're not going to run it that whole time. But you basically want to let it run and flush everything out of the system. One note, if you did have a space problem or you weren't able to install a hose bib here uh, upstream of your uh, shutoff valve, you would do this flushing through, we would recommend a utility sink or a bathtub, something that doesn't have a, an aeration device on it. Uh, uh, the, the one nearest the unit would be ideal. Uh, but we do recommend you do the hose bib. I want to make sure there was a couple things you need to check. Uh, that would be the hardness of your water, and you want to make sure uh, your uh, regen times uh, are all set according to the manual and the size system that you have. So uh, first thing we're going to do is just go in here. I'm going to do this manually, and then I'll show you how to use the Bluetooth app. So we're going to press this guy once. Uh, you're going to have your time set there, PM, AM. This is the hardness. So you have a, either done your hardness test or you have that information from your... Uh, city or uh, water area so what you want to do is add five to whatever your hardness is so if our hardness let's say is 20 what we're going to do is make our hardness setting on this 25 so basically what we'll do here scroll through go to the next one hit that okay now our hardness is all set um, for our regeneration cycles we'll go ahead hold both down at the same time Okay, so this again is your regeneration time, your days between re regeneration. Cycle one is at eight minutes, that's what our recommended setting is. Two, which is the brine draw, is set for 60 minutes. Three, the rapid rinse is six minutes. And four, which is the brine refill, this is set for six minutes based on this 32K system. This uh, is say it says it's a 32k system, so if that you have a 27 or a different system, you'd want to change that, and then your percentage, Bluetooth hookup, and etc. Okay, so now we're all set up. Our house uh, supply is still closed. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and set this into a backwash. We're going to do a complete backwash, brine draw, rapid rinse, and brine refill. This will take about 90 minutes total. So what you want to do is go ahead and force the regen to start. What we'll do there is just hold this again, and it'll go into cycle one. Okay, it goes into cycle one. Now we're just going to let this whole thing run through it. So when it goes into cycle one, you'll see your water going to drain here for your drain line. And we'll just let that run its eight minutes. For the video purposes, I'm going to go ahead and advance it, but it would go through its eight minute cycle. Then it would go into cycle two. And this will be your brine draw. So you should be able to look in your brine tank and you should see, be able to see that water level dropping. This will be run up to 60 minutes. Again, let this run through its cycle. For the video purposes, I'm just going to go fast forward through it. 
you're now in cycle number three that's for the six minutes that's a, a rapid rinse now you would also see water coming out your drain line into your drain and now we're going to go into the brine refill so you should be able to go to your brine tank remove the lid and you should see the water coming up the water level coming back into the tank over a period of the six minutes and then once that six minutes has completed it'll count down uh, it'll go back into the service mode okay and then it'll go back between the gallons left before regen and the time wanted to show you also there is a Bluetooth app here that you can go into and in your dashboard so you can actually see the time of day the water hardness setting so you can click on this let's say I want to change it to 30 uh, you can just hit the 30 hit done it'll ask you if yes and there's your 30 so this is a kind of a neat thing you can also set your regen time here if you go to the advanced settings you can actually also set your backwash, your brine draw, your rapid rinse, and your brine refill. This is where your resin grains capacity is set for the 32K system that we have here. So this is also a really neat uh, uh, app that you can use um, uh, you know, instead of the manual on the valve. Okay, so we've done our uh, regeneration now. Um, everything's good. Our system is ready to go. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we can turn the water back on to the house. Your system is ready. The last thing we need to do is install the backup battery just in case you were to ever lose power. Your programming will be maintained. Um, and this is just a standard 9 volt battery. There's a little uh, plug down here at the bottom of a little shelf. You basically just pop that guy on there and put him down in there. You can now reinstall your dust cover and you are now ready to enjoy your clean water systems soft water softener thank you have a good day